Wow, that's tough. Well, thank you. You saw a need and you responded. Today, we are wrapping up the Help to Northwest campaign to support families impacted by wildfires. And by the I have to tell you, the generosity was overwhelming. Uh, and the campaign ended in spectacular fashion with a big donation. Crem 2's Laura Papetti lets us know the final results. The immediate fire danger may be dying down, but in its wake, immense need and a daunting rebuilding process for people all over the region where whole communities were devastated like Malden and Pine City. And the Red Cross knows it is going to take a whole lot of money to help people rebuild and get back on their feet. And that's where Help to Northwest came in. It was an effort between CREM, STCU and all of you to make sure that we raised as much money as possible. And you did an amazing job. We want to start tonight by first saying thank you. Thank you to everyone who gave to the campaign. And second of all, we we want to announce a big donation that came in today from STCU. It was given to us during the best Zoom call ever. The impact and the effect of this was so far reaching in our organization. We have a lot of members in Malden who have been impacted. So um, STCU is adding $20,000. It really was the best Zoom call and the best kind of news, and all of that money is so needed. In total, nearly $70,000 was raised during the Help to Northwest campaign. STCU sharing some pictures of their employees from each of the branches, showing how collectively they all worked very hard to make sure those donations got taken in and will now be given to the local Red Cross. We have such generous um, STC members, but we also have incredible, generous community members too. And so we had folks that were donating through our branch in the drive through. We had people calling into our call center um, to make donations. And then, of course, um, doing some transfers on um, through our online banking platform. So, absolute generosity from our community all around. The Red Cross helped shelter people all across the region, keeping them safe from the fires, yes, but also working to keep them safe from COVID-19 as well. So many times the traditional shelters wouldn't work. And because of the pandemic, the Red Cross provided meals in hotel rooms all across the area. Now the expenses will continue to mount as the Red Cross works with people in different communities helping during the rebuilding process. Just the impact that, that we know that that's going to have for the people who count on us, the people who need it right now. Um, yeah, the generosity in this community, it's, it's, it's unmatched. I mean, when people need help, we are a community that shows up. We know that we're each struggling in our ways. It's not been an easy year. Um, and yet we still turn to the person next to us who might need more than we do to say, please let me help you today. That's, that's just amazing. I'm gonna stop crying. <laughs> so as we said, nearly $70,000. Well, the exact total, $69,666. 84 cents. That's what's been given to the Red Cross. And STCU told us today they'll keep the account open at least for the next several weeks as some people maybe didn't get a chance to come by and make that donation. And they said they'll make sure that money gets given to the local Red Cross. Reporting in Spokane, Laura Papetti, Crem2 News.